Good morning, gentlemen. Today we will talk about the situation when you are losing the signal of GPS. Especially we can experience this in the China. Uh, I don't know clearly what is the reason what Chinese are doing with the GPS. Uh, do they are make suppression of the signal of GPS? We never know. But the fact is that GPS signal sometimes is lost. And this is something what makes difference between us, the professionals, and the uh, amateurs, the fishermen. Uh, for the moment, we are on the bridge of the Cape Size vessel and we are going to simulate the situation when the one of GPS lost. We have one EGDIS, one radar and one GPS receiver which is supposed to be uh, out of order during our simulation and the switch between GPS 1 and GPS number 2. In order to simulate the situation when the GPS is out of order we will shut down one of our GPS receivers. As you can see we have Many alarm uh, buzzers, many alarms. Okay, okay, okay. Where else we have? For the moment you can see that almost all bridge equipment which is using the GPS position as the signal is giving alarm and it says to us, attention, attention, I have lost position, please do something. As we can see, on the radar we don't have position and our ship doesn't know where she is. What we can do in this situation to switch to other GPS receiver. As you can see the alarm has disappeared, the radar got position. Uh, same time we can see that EGDIS for some reason is not getting the position because apart from the uh, manual switch between GPS receiver in uh, GRC you have manual switch between the GPS receivers. We are going to settings, going to sensor stop and choosing which GPS would we like to use and here we are pressing that we would like to use GPS number two, apply. Okay, now everything goes well, our EGDIS, our radar uh, and all other equipment got the GPS signal. Now we talk about very common situation when one of two GPS receivers loses the signal and we are switching between the GPS. It is very common situation when the bridge team doesn't have a clear knowledge how to switch between the GPS, how to act very fast and do it within a minute in order to provide safety navigation. If you will uh, approach to the channel and you have this situation coming suddenly, if you don't have knowledge, it's a big trouble. Okay, now we're gonna consider more difficult situation. When the vessel has completely lost GPS signal, when the GPS is out of order, I don't know, it can happen in case of the Cold World War or our friends from US will decide to shut down the GPS completely. They have such an option to disable GPS for everybody in the area except the military craft. In such a cases we have to use dead reconing. Dead reconing is the way of position fixing by means of analytical calculation. We know our speed, we know our curse and we know where we are. So that means we know more or less where we will be in a period of time. So we will try to simulate this situation now and we shut down the both of our GPS, okay? Devices again giving the alarms. Fuck. Okay, in such a case, we have to switch our EGDIS, our electronic charge, to the dead recording mode, the mode when the EGDIS is estimating our position without having any sensor like GPS. Now we are dealing with GRC like this. In order to switch to dead recording mode, we go to the main menu, the sensor stop, and, and changing position one to dead recon mode. Applying, and now we can see that our SOG, and COG, speed over ground and course over ground unknown. Here we are setting the course. Let's say it will be 090 degrees.
applying. And now you can see our ship is going zero, nine, zero degrees. And let's say our vessel is moving with the speed of 25 knots. Enter, apply. Okay, as you can see that our vessel using dead reconning mode, we know our course, we know our speed. The course we can take from our gyro compass and manually input the speed we can take from our speed lock and also make manual input. Time to time you have to make the observation by uh, visual bearings, by radar bearings or the celestial observation. This is the way how it works. Okay, now we will return everything how it was before. Okay. And this has been returned to the normal mode. Okay. okay, gentlemen, this is the way how we are solving this situation. You should be always prepared to the situation when your GPS receiver fails and you will face the need to navigate without GPS. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next lessons.